Hey guys, Luke here. Uh, we've got a unique project today. We're going to be working on this truck right here behind me. We got to get the slide cylinder out of it. Packing's leaking. The truck is operational, everything's working as it should, but something we need to get addressed while we have time to do it so we can get this thing out of here into a shop and back on the road with no hydraulic leaks. So, what we're going to end up doing, we're going to have to remove these pins to get the cylinder out with hydraulic lines and everything like that but it is in a unique situation to where we're going to have some uh, problems getting it out uh looks like we're going to have this pin here there's not really much other constraints that will be holding this thing um luckily we do have this piece of equipment over here we'll try and get it out as safely as possible and just see see how well we've done never done this before so um i hadn't seen many videos on removing a slide cylinder out of a rollback but that's what we're going to do today and uh, stay tuned and see what happens next thing we're going to end up doing is getting this pin out um what we're going to, have to do we're going to get the pin out loosen it up knock it through so we can get the slide cylinder shortened up as much as possible so it minimizes how much we actually have to get out of the back of this truck it's going to help us a lot it's gonna leave this bed out until we can get the cylinder back in but it looks like we'll be able to get it taken care of pretty pretty simple everything seems to be loose down here it's been well lubricated over its lifetime but we'll see what we can get taken care of on our own and get on to it we got the rear pin removed which wasn't as bad as what you would think um it was greased in there pretty good so it, it came out fairly easy next step what we're going to end up having to do is remove these hydraulics lines off of this uh, cylinder as soon as we get the lines loose that'll free us up to where we can bring the cylinder on out without tearing up anything catastrophic um, next pin we have is going to be this one right here <clears throat> we have a hydraulic line here that goes down the length of the cylinder. There's a couple of them that are zip tied on. And we've got another one underneath the truck. We're gonna get it taken out and get it disconnected. And we're gonna move on from here. Next thing we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna get these pins out. These are E-clips holding in this side on like a bolt on the other. Come out fairly easy. Gonna have one on each side. We've already disconnected our line. We're just gonna keep moving forward. there it is guys she's out after some persuasion and using the pry bar there was just enough clearance to slide this thing on out of here and when we did get it all the way forward i mean you it, it wouldn't come out perfectly sideways you did have to finesse it out of there um the cylinder itself does go in and out from the front and it was a lot easier than what we thought it was two pins a couple of zip ties holding hydraulic lines and disconnecting a couple of hydraulic lines but we're gonna see what we can get taken care of here. Um, but here's the cylinder. It is a very long cylinder. Now this is a 21 and a half foot Chevron bed. Uh, these beds here, it's a 12,000 pound, bleh, a 12,000 pound unit. Um, just over time, it's a 13 year old bed and it's got a leaking packing. So we're gonna go ahead and get it addressed and get it taken care of. Till next time.